Hi everyone, we talk a lot about our new 8.7 aspect ratio is allowing users to do like a 16 by 9 crop or a 9 by 16 crop, but we don't really tell users how they can do that. And we really, it's very limited in what they can do right now. At the moment, you know, if I'm using something, a tool like Premiere, I might be able to, you know, choose to reframe high or low and just moving the, the texture around, but that has its limitations. You know, and of course we could also shoot hyper view in camera to try and get more vertical field of view. But those two options, they have to be chosen up front. Whereas now within a modified FX reframe, we can actually deal with the fact that we can have a scene that we shot in 8.7, but still get the benefits of hyper view when reframing into either 9x16 or 16x9. So I'm going to just reset the motion controls, which are just the defaults within Premiere, and enable FX Reframe, which is a plugin that you can install for Premiere. So while this allows us to do some repointing, so I can point up and point down, it's not the same as sliding the frame around. I'm actually virtually moving the, the center of the camera. What I'm going to do instead is into a new advanced control, I can actually apply some super view or hyper view at about level 100. That is what a super view image would look like. And then I can go all the way out to hyper view. So now I have shot 8.7, but output hyper view and doing that in post. So, you know, I might even want just to have a little less because um, I don't need so much. I just need to have enough to show that this bridge above me, but I can now use the repointing capabilities so I can tilt the frame to do some things in post that allows me to do, you know, really take advantage of that um, eight, eight by seven image, but still be able to share in a traditional 16 by nine format. Now, what if you shot Hyperview? Let's find a Hyperview clip. There's my source and this is my 16 by nine edit. Right now they're both the same. Um, I would have then add my FX reframe to the clip and I could, I could, you know, do the same controls before and point and but it's not quite mathematically correct. Um, I won't go into the details of why I could move the frame around. You can see that's all the boundaries I've got within just the regular 2D movements. So what I can do now with using FX reframe is I can actually select undo hyperview. So what this does is it actually presents back to the original. So I can now pan around. So I've still got the stuff that's above the image. I still got the information that's below the image. So I've got the full logo on the shirt there. But again, I can now choose to just say, well, I actually want a little bit more vertical. Maybe I want it shoot hyper view, but add a little bit of just super view to the image. Just make it so that I've got a little bit more of the logo. Um, a little bit more vertical information into that frame. So I've got the G there, still repointing, creating the composition that I want. So here I shot the hyperview and was able to correct, you know, the framing that I want in post and doing that correctly. Now, what if we had a hyperview like this? This is where you're not centered in the frame. I'm starting to get a bit distorted. The best part of Hyperview is right in the sweet spot. So what I'm going to do now is, um, and in fact, I'll bring up the image on the left to be that image. So Hyperview with the offset. This is my source, and this is after turning on some processing. Okay, so I turn on FX Reframe. Now I, I first select Undo, then I actually reapply Hyperview. You can see they're exactly the same. So I haven't done anything yet. I've just told the filter that my source material was Hyperview and that I wanted to apply a Hyperview effect. So we've got an additional control and that is the center point of where the Hyperview is. So this is making it worse, but I can move over the center point to put it right in the middle of me. So now I am not distorted. I've still got my complete scene and I can still do my, you know, reframing, you know, zooming, rotating, whatever I needed to do to create the look that I wanted. I can then, you know, I can even choose how much of that 
super view, hyper view look while preserving the center point over here in the center of my face. So I can now just repoint a little bit, bring the logo back into frame. And now I've taken this to this and proving the image not the greatest shot, but you know, you get the idea. And that is the new FX reframe. Thank you.